Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we have the Bismarck B. I'm super excited for this ship. Without a doubt, this is the one thing in the update, besides the daring, we only get that for a couple weeks, and no one will really see it for like three or four months, but this was the thing that I was really looking forward to. Why? Because I hated Bismarck for two years. Someone convinced me in a live stream, a very knowledgeable player, convinced me to try it. He just said, try it and put hide and go full accuracy, and oh my goodness, it's become one of my favorite ships. It's got five heals, it's got quick reload, and it's got increased AP penetration angles. Bismarck can be so, so very spicy, as long as your dispersion is good. If your dispersion is not good, then Bismarck is kind of run-of-the-mill, but it's got those good, good medium-range secondaries, out to about eight kilometers, I believe. I think it's 7-9 on regular Bismarck. So that way, if you do ever encounter a DD, boom, target him, bang, button. You know, you're you're slamming him, plus main guns. It just works out really nicely, plus the Hydro. Bismarck, one of my favorite ships in the game, hands down. Top 10, at least. Top 10, for sure. Something I enjoy playing every time I play it. Now we've got the Bismarck B. We've got the black version. I am really hopeful for this thing. It's supposed to have increased secondaries. I'm curious. It does pull back main battery range, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge, huge fan of that, but I don't think it's very substantial. So let's look at what the changes are. Here's Bismarck B, 18.4 range, 22.9 reload, with a 40 second 180 time. Secondaries go out to 8.1. Now we look at the Tech Tree Bismarck. We've got 19.3. We've got a 26 second reload, so a little bit longer on reload, and we got a 36 second 180 time. Secondary armament is 17.9, so the secondary increase on Bismarck B is really minuscule. 8.1 to 7.9, that's not very good. The reload does get a little bit better, so you get a little faster main battery firing. I kind of like that. that. That right there might be the trade-off we need. But the, the firing range, that's kind of hurt. I mean, 19.3 does sometimes come in handy uh, when you run the hide build, which is what I run, five heals, no will to rebuild, and you got to step back, right? And you got to step back out of the fight. But with 19.3, you're still able to lob. A lot of times, you're able to still lob shells. And just for you guys, because I'm that awesome, I'm going to put a side-by-side. -side. So we'll put Bismarck over here, and then we'll put... Bismarck B right here. Now you guys can see side by side exactly what we're dealing with on the main battery differences. And then we'll do secondary armament. And that is secondaries compared back and forth. So there you go. I mean, definitely a difference. Not sure which one's going to be better at this point. I don't know if the trade off for range over reload, I'm not really sure. But I think the only way to find out really is just to go play. So let's jump right into it. Okay, I will say I like the reload off the rip. The camo doesn't overly impress me. You know, kind of like the Mass B. That camo really impressed me. Caught my eye. The Sharn Horse Black camo, I like that one too. This one, I don't like it as much. I wish it had more white. I feel like it's solid black with a couple of stripes here and there. But I won't complain. Alright, so we're going to hold here. Initially. We're going to try to see if... There's a crossfire that's available. Oh. Some shells got through. Oh, one overpin. Oh, sadness. You can hear the children screaming. Oh, sadness. Oh my god. Oh, it's freezing. Somebody hit him pretty good. Come on, stab him back. Stab him back. We already had an opportunity and you wasted it, Bismarck. Please. Unbelievable. Um, we're in a bad spot. Secondaries, please target. Smoked up. Damn. Two overpins. Oh. 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 Oh, he is that guy, folks. 
And ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering, he is that guy, okay? There are others, but there is only one that is that guy. I'm running Hydro now, let me tell you that. I'm over here celebrating, meanwhile a lightning's trying to torp me from five kilometers away. Two go high, two go low, one goes in the Citadel, okay. I'm running fight fire on this, I think, so fires aren't like the end of the world, but like they don't feel good. Does that make sense? Oh my god, he gets that much damage off of my superstructure. I forget, they give warships 10,000 health and superstructure. Never fails. Oh my god, the fucking linen, dude. Definitely could have played that better. Pretty standard Bismarck accuracy. Oh, sick. Come on. People in this game are just incredible how, like, when they see a ship, like, that guy was going to be, and then he saw me and was like, oh, must change plan. Must do something different. Must go after him. I saw him first. I must go after him. Really not liking the accuracy here. Not liking the accuracy. Don't know if it's any different or not from the other Bismarck, but it just doesn't seem to be overly accurate. Wow, I can't even hit shells. Like... Come on, Bismarck. We're in a pretty cheeky little spot. Let's keep sailing around. I'm sure you'll see me eventually. There's a little better accuracy out of you, Bismarck. One of the biggest differences, I mean, see this Alabama back here? I would be able to hit that Alabama right now broadside if I was in regular Bismarck versus Bismarck B. I think that's something to take note of. Oh, it's that guy again. I better aim at him. Oh, fuck. Where'd he go? He disappeared. Oh, now the Somers is really trying to take the kill. Really? Yeah, you clearly deserved it being AFK for the first 45 seconds. Clearly deserved it. How dare I take all of his health. You're so right, Somers. Thank you. He did just get hit pretty good. Our shells go... Short! They go short! Really? I aimed up and he was backing up. Interesting. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Broken Bismarck shells for the win, please? Something? Spicy meat the bale. Oh god dang it, now he pops up, please. Oh my god, I'm a blind fire god. I'm not even a king anymore. Nice job, Summers. Fucking big genius. Never could have seen those torps coming. Get him. Oh, that's ridiculous. Dang it. I probably should have damage gone. I might have messed up. Yeah, I should have damage gone that far. Stupid of me. I didn't think he's going to switch to AP. Because he's HE and he's backed up against the white line. Why would I think he's switching to AP? Okay. I mean, we got second on the team. High caliber. Secondary kill. You know, 2696. Basically 2700 XP. A buck 43. Two sinks and a high cal. It's, you know, you can't really go wrong there. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest, though. Like I always am when I give you these reviews. I'm not overly excited for this boat. Um... I don't think that you guys should spend a single penny to get it. I honestly think the Tech Tree Bismarck is arguably better 
I'll take four seconds off the reload to have that extra range on the main battery. I think with the shorter main battery range, you this thing gets forced to be in in range and in engagement zones that it's a lot harder to dodge shells and therefore you're going to take more damage. And with the hide build, with the long cooldown, you got to be able to disengage, stay at range, kind of pitter putter around, you know, and not so much get up into secondary range. I don't think this thing is worth buying whatsoever. I, if you get it and you get it for free, thumbs up. If you have to pay a single dollar for it, massive thumbs down. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I am a little disappointed with Bismarck B. But like always, that's just my opinion. You guys can absolutely go spend $500 on this. Totally fine. Totally up to you. But that's a review. Hope this video helps you guys make some wiser choices when it comes to Black Friday ships. Everybody have a good day. Peace.